Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip session courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I hope you're having a great week wherever you are. I hope you're enjoying great weather. Finally, good weather in Northern California. I'm so excited. <laughs> so. So today, the AutoCAD tip that I'm going to share with you has to do with your screen real estate. Now, I know that some of you are very greedy with your screen real estate. You know who you are. <laughs> what I mean by that is that you want as much room as possible for your AutoCAD drawing. You don't want too many other things getting in the way. So I'm going to share with you three tips on how you can get more room for your drawing. All right. So to start off with, I'm going to, I'll be talking about the command line, right? So I have my command line at the bottom of the screen. I don't know where you have yours, but you of course can control how many lines the command line encompasses, right? Maybe you only, maybe you're okay with just maybe a couple of lines. That's completely up to you. I'm actually okay with two. That frees up a little bit more room depending on what you have it set to right now. You can also take your command line and you can move it elsewhere on the screen. You can once again can control how many lines you have. You can control the width of it as well. I'm going to make it just a little bit shorter and I'm actually going to move it right down here. Maybe you'd want to have it in the lower right hand corner just like I have right there. Give you a little bit more room for your drawing. All right. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it back. Ah, old habits die hard, don't they? <laughs> So it's a couple of options there for the command line. So you also have control over whether or not you want the model and layout tabs to show up where they are right now. If you want to, you can push them to the status bar and that's going to free up like, I don't know, quarter of an inch, half an inch, depending on your resolution, eighth of an inch, if your resolution is really, really high, I guess. So let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. Right click hide layout and model tabs. It doesn't really hide them. It just moves them down to the status bar. Here's model space. And here's the last layout tab that I was in. So you'll see it's easy for me to go to model space and it's easy for me to go to another one of the layout tabs. Now the trick here is that this really works best for those of you who only have one layout tab because there's no easy way for me to get to the other one. So that's something for you to take into consideration. A right click allows you to very easily put them back where they were. So that's completely up to you. Once again, that really works best if you're dealing with one layout tab. So what's another way of saving screen real estate? It has to do with the ribbon. Now, I'm hoping that you are using the ribbon and you're not a ribbon rebel. You know who you are as well. <laughs> So I did not like the ribbon at first, but I really love the ribbon now because it's smart, it's context sensitive, and there's some things I just don't know how you do without the ribbon, to be honest. So I'm going to assume that you are using the ribbon and let's take a look at some ways that you could control the sides of the ribbon. I should also mention that my screen real estate is very, excuse me, my screen resolution is very low because I want things to be as big for you as possible. So uh, your screen isn't going to look quite as condensed as my, mine is, at least that's the way, what I hope. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Of course, across the top of the screen, we have the layout tabs. At the very end, I'm sure you've seen this and maybe you've used it. You, this allows you to control exactly how the ribbon displays. Maybe you would like to minimize it to panel buttons. Oh, that frees up a little bit more screen real estate, a little more room for your drawing. And then it's simply a matter of moving your cursor over the panels to display the options. All right, so that's one way. Let's do another one. Let's minimize it to the panel titles, saving you even more room. Okay, same situation. You're basically gonna move your cursor over the panel titles to get to the various commands underneath, all right? Now, for those of you who are really into saving screen real estate, there's one more option that allows you to save even more room on your screen for your drawing. And that means basically, in case you didn't see that, it's minimizing it to the tabs. Now, this works a little bit differently than the other two. You can't just hover, you actually have to pick on the tab that you want to display. It displays the entire tab, so I kind of like that. And you'll see if I move my cursor away, it automatically rolls the tab back up, right? So um, basically it's only there when I need it, which is kind of nice. I'll give you a tip though. <laughs> Don't do this until you're very familiar with the ribbon or you're going to be cranky when you can't find things, all right? So that's for those of you who really know your ribbon inside and out and you know where things are, all right? So, and then how do you get it back? It's easy. Just click right on this arrow and then we'll bring it back. All right, get the whole ribbon again. We're back to where we were before. So there are three tips that are going to help you save and conserve your screen real estate so that you have more room for your drawing. I hope that you found at least one of those to be a big help to you, maybe all three. And I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the week.